I'm Jennifer Stieberg. I'm the Senior Associate Product Manager for Guidance at Civco. Today I'll be showing you how to assemble the Verza Guidance System. The Verza Guidance System will consist of having a probe and also your reusable bracket. Remember your reusable bracket must be compatible with your general purpose probe when using the system. After identifying the corresponding bracket, you will need to apply the bracket to your probe. To do this, you'll want to note the locating features on the probe aligned with the locating features on the bracket. Once you've done that, you'll apply the bracket and close the latch. We do have touch points on each Verza bracket latch that you'll want to push on to lock the bracket into place. This is the Verza procedure pack. I am not currently going to demonstrate sterile technique. Within each Verza procedure pack, you will find your gauge tree, which also contains the gauge body, two bands, a sterile gel pack, and a cover. Now I will walk you through how to prepare the probe. The first step will be to apply gel to the probe lens. Next step will be to take your probe cover, apply it over top of the gel, and deploy down your cord. You want to make sure to remove any wrinkles in your probe cover so that you have a smooth surface on top. All the gel is evenly smoothed out. Then you will take your bands from your guide tree. You will apply one band over top. And then some like to apply another band further down the cord just to hold the cover. Uh, the next step will be to take your Verza guide body off of the tree and apply to the Verza link. The Verza link feature allows the guide to attach directly to the bracket. Once you have it situated, you'll lower the lever and your guide is fastened securely on. One point to make sure of when you're applying the Verza guide body is that you can clearly see all of the numbers in the correct direction as if you were scanning. Within your procedure, you will want to identify your device size and also make sure that you choose the corresponding guide insert on the tree. Today, I will be using an 18 gauge FNA device and so I will choose the 18 gauge insert off the tree you want to just remove it by twisting and pulling the gauge size off. The next step will be to insert your gauge size within the guide body. When inserting the gauge, you'll want to insert into the guide body all the way while making sure this tab is all the way secure back to the right hand side. Now that your guidance system is fully assembled, we can move on to scanning the patient to select angle of biopsy. You will apply your sterile gel to your patient. You'll scan the patient to identify your target. You'll look at your ultrasound system to make sure that the target is within one of the biopsy lines. Once you have identified the correct pathway with, on your ultrasound system, you want to choose the correct corresponding number on the Verza guide. To do that, you'll make sure that the lock is pulled out away from the probe. You'll line up the correct number and we're gonna, we have selected angle three. And now you're going to engage that lock by sliding it in. Once you've slid the lock in and you're now ready to do your procedure, you'll take your device, making sure that you're flush with the patient and insert the device following the biopsy line. Once you've inserted your device in the patient, there may be a need for probe removal. The Verza comes equipped with a quick release feature. You'll take this tab and you will rotate it all the way over until it clicks. And now you can remove your probe easily to continue on with patient procedure. For more information regarding the Verza guidance system, please visit civco.com.